carry the torch for the Republic in the next two frames. It was in frame five that the hole on the goal was challenged by the Malaysian pair of Zandra Azila and Jacqueline Sajore, who took the lead. Sherry and Daphne were just six pins behind. It went down to the wire, and in the end, the Malaysians emerged victorious. They had a pinfall total of 2,463, edging out the sisters by seven pins to win the gold medal. Sherry and Daphne had to settle for silver. The bronze went to Malaysia's Saran Ko and Dayang Karuniza. Uh, we're definitely very disappointed because we missed the goal by just seven pins and it was a really close and hard fight. So, But they should do well at the end of the day, so they deserve the goal. After an unimpressive start yesterday, the boys were hoping for a better showing in the doubles event. Although two out of the three pairs from Singapore finished in the top eight, they fell short of a podium finish. Singapore's best performing pair was the duo of Keith Saw and Ng Chu Peng, who finished in fifth position with a pinfall total of 2,393. The gold went to the Malaysian pair of Adrian Ang and Alex Yu, who had a pinfall total of 2,555. Filipinos Biboy Rivera and Fredja Gong won the silver, and Malaysia's Mohamed Safik and Zulmazran Zulkifli won the bronze. Right, it's the trios events tomorrow, and with two days of competition already, I'm sure the newbies of the game squad, especially the men's team, should be getting used to the lanes in Jakarta. We hope to be bringing you some good news from bowling tomorrow. Okay, we're going for a break. When we come back, water. Water everywhere. We catch up with the Polo team and also the sailors. Don't go away. <laughs>